Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Your week is officially halfway over. It's crazy. Gabby said, thank God. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening? What is going on? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. All right. So let me know as you guys jump on. What is going on? Um, as you guys jump on, if that little red live button is there, that means you're live with me right this very second. And just drop the word live down below. If you're, if you don't see that little red live button, that means you are on the replay and you can do hashtag replay down below. Um, I know the time change thing still has some people messed up and I'm still like, what the heck time do I go live? I don't know. Um, so definitely let me know what time is it where you are uh because i'm still trying to, i'm like i can't be consistent with the time i'm just all over the place y'all i'm just Today's all over the Wednesday. place today. i know logan didn't go to see seven last night i know he remembered last night at like nine he's like crap it's tuesday I thought today was Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> so anyways, as you guys jump on, say hey in the comments. Let me know where you're coming in from. What time is it there? How was your day today? I know today was a heavy day for a lot of people. I know everybody's kind of a little uncertain about what the heck is happening. So I don't want to talk about it. we are just going to make some Big Mac salad and do the dang thing. So um, I'm Jenny Lynn Curry. If you've never met me before, welcome to my kitchen. I want you guys to be able to see. There we go. Um, welcome to my kitchen. We're going to make Big Mac salad. It's super, super easy. Um, and yeah, so I'm, gr I am cooking some hamburger right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce in here. So we're going to do a half a cup of mayonnaise get this out of here so we're gonna do a half cup mayonnaise try not to make a mess everywhere there we go I'm not doubling this recipe this time normally I do um, but I'm not this time because I'm just not so Hello, hello. We're binge watching This Is Us because we're behind. Oh my gosh. So apparently, we must have missed a, um, we must have missed a, like the last show or something because we watched last week and I'm like, I don't know what the heck is happening. So I think we missed ones. So we have to go back and watch them, but it's by far my favorite show. So to the half cup of mayonnaise, I'm adding two teaspoons of yellow mustard. I know you guys can't see it. I should probably do it on the other side of this pan. What if I move you down just a hair? There you go. So we've got two teaspoons of uh, yellow mustard, half a cup of mayonnaise. We're going to do two tablespoons of pickles, but I really like pickles, so I'm just going to toss in a bunch because I really like pickles, and now my hands are going to smell like pickles. All right, then we're going to do one, one teaspoon of white vinegar. Uh, all right we're gonna do a half a teaspoon which is right here of smoked paprika hello 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 as you guys jump on let me know do you miss big macs from mcdonald's like were you guys ever a big mac person my husband was a huge big mac person and then as we started to go more low carb he would just get the big mac and take out the middle bun and he'd be like, oh, that's good. That's enough. I'm like, that's 
that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, it, I guess it was a good starting place, but I'm like, that's not how that works, dude. So when we first made this recipe, he was like, oh my God, it's so good. And if you mix it in with the lettuce and everything, when the meat is still warm, it's like literally you're eating a Big Mac without the bun. It's so good. Anyway, so in here, we've got a half a cup of mayonnaise. We've got two teaspoons of yellow mustard. We've got a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And I literally just put in two handfuls of dill pickles that I cut, that I chopped up. We're gonna uh, blend this anyway. We're also going to add, where is, oh, here it is. We're also going to do a tablespoon and a half of powdered sweetener. So I don't, oh, this is a half tablespoon. I don't normally keep powdered swerve or powdered monk fruit around um, just because I don't, I don't use it very often. So then it just sits in my cupboard. So what I do is I take the granulated um, monk fruit. I'll show you what it looks like. I get it at Costco because that's the cheapest place to get it in my opinion. So you can get this one. This is the one I use. I like this one versus Swerve because it doesn't have that, that cooling effect. And so I use that one. But you can use the granulated one and put it in a blender like this and make powdered sweetener. So that's what I do whenever I need it. And then that way I don't just have a bag of powdered sugar just sitting in my cupboard not being used. All right, so we've got all of that in our blender. We're just going to blend it up. If it's too thick, you can always add more um, vinegar to it. Mine is perfectly thin because I had all those extra pickles in there. So once your hamburger is all ground, I have some from last night I'm going to throw in here and just warm through because it was extra that I cooked. I cooked up some hamburger last night. I made bell pepper um, tacos or bell pepper taco boats, whatever you want to call them, bell pepper nachos. Oh my God, it was delicious. It was so good. I put that recipe on my TikTok. So if you guys are not following me on TikTok, you definitely should be. Um, my TikTok is Jenny Lynn Curry. I put a ton of fast forward videos on there for um, meals that I cook or like breakfasts and lunches where it's not really super hard or, or really long. So I just put it in a fast forward video on my TikTok so you guys can have those. All right. So while that finishes warming up the meat I just added, we are going to make the actual salad part. So I like to use this pre-shredded lettuce um, because I think it's so much more like a regular Big Mac than like if I take lettuce and shred it myself. And so I just like to use this already shredded salad mix. It's not even a mix. It's just shredded lettuce. So normally I do two or three bags because I always um, double this recipe. But like I said, I'm not doubling it today because we have so many leftovers in the refrigerator from other stuff that I got to get it used up. <laughs> so <clears throat> to that lettuce, I'm adding half a Roma tomato. Ooh, whoa, this pickle is wet. And then... I cut up, I think it was like three big, huge kosher pickles. So that's the other half of the three that I cut up. I'm making a mess, y'all. Watch out, watch out. 
All right, so I'm going to add here we go. some salt and pepper to this meat. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this lettuce. Okay, so we've got our lettuce, we've got our tomato, we've got our pickles. I'm going to add some cheese. I did sharp cheddar this time because I needed to use up the block so I shredded oh there's a there's a chunker in there I shredded up some sharp cheddar I still can't see that whoa there you go now you can see it you just can't see me ha! all right so there's that We're just going to mix this together, try not to make a mess. If you want to put more tomatoes in there, you can. If you want to put less tomatoes in there, you can. If you're like, tomatoes are a keto! You know, it is what it is. So, there's that. Now we can turn this off. Let's get into the pot now. All right. This is grass-fed beef, so there's not a ton of fat in it. So I could just dump the whole thing. In fact, I think that's probably what I'll do. Woo, it's hot, it's hot, watch out. All right, then we're just gonna mix it and then we're going to pour the dressing over the top and add the rest of the cheese. It's so yummy. I don't know why I keep singing, y'all. I'm losing my mind. All right. So that's what it looks like. All right. And then that is what the sauce, why is that? That's what the sauce looks like with the little pickles in it. And then, It is so stinking delicious. It even smells like a Big Mac. It's so good. All right, we'll give this a good stir. Top it up with a little bit more cheese. Y'all, it's the best thing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look amazing? I don't know why I'm spreading it out for you, but there you go. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I just like to put a little bit more cheese on the top. Because I shredded it, so why not use it? And there you go. Big Mac salad. And it's delicious. You guys want to see a taste test? So, it's delicious. Um, so leftovers, if you leave it, if you leave the meat off of the salad part and you kind of leave it separate and you mix it all together, um, as you go, sorry, that was a lot of movement. Um, it's not 
as bad, but if you leave it all combined like this and there's leftovers, it's kind of soggy the next day. Mm. It's so good. Like, it's so good. Just the right of, of like that pickle to mustard ratio. Like, it's so good. <laughs> so, it's super, super simple. It's easy. It's quick. I mean, what, less than 20 minutes? So, totally easy to do. Um, my family absolutely loves it. So I will get the recipe up for you guys in the video description as soon as I end this video because we've made it a ton of times. So I already have it written up for you. Um, so yeah, it's delicious. Definitely try it. And um, if you guys want more recipes like this, just drop recipe down below. And I can get you more recipes like this, super quick, super easy, family-friendly stuff, um, especially if you're keto or low-carb. I um, have a recipe group for that, so I can add you to that. Anyways, my puppy is, where is she? What are you doing? I see you. I see you. <laughs> I heard her little feet. Anyway, so come back and join me again tomorrow. Uh, what's tomorrow? Thursday. I'll probably make breakfast or lunch tomorrow for you guys instead of dinner because I meet with my Bible study tomorrow. Um, but definitely come back. Join me again tomorrow. Uh, same place. Not same time. <laughs> Anyways, have a happy Wednesday. I hope your Thursday is even better than today because today was a little crazy. And uh, come back and see me again tomorrow. Bye.